Hello LGBT's allies and opponents. It's me again, Chester Lockhart, the alleged host of Ranked, the show where I break down the top 10 of everything on Prime Video. Not me being back for another video. <laughs> this time I'm broadcasting live from Michelle Visage's basement to give you the top 10 looks from RuPaul's Drag Race. <laughs> You didn't know the girls were on Prime? Well, yes, it's true. You can watch seasons one through five right now, available on Prime Video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more Prime content for Prime Video Prime. Intro over. <laughs> okay, let's get into it. Now, number 10 on the list legally has to be Miss Roxy Andrews final runway look from season five. Down. First up, the queen on everybody's lips, Roxy Andrews. Ooh. Glamour. This is my last time walking this runway, and I'm feeling so good right now. The dress is stoned from head to toe. I'm giving them a little bit of my hair and feeling absolutely glamorous. Roxy, Roxy. She must have just come from Paisley Park. Where my Paisley at? <laughs> She said the gown was stoned from head to toe, so her name is literally Rocks E. <laughs> wow, we are starting off very strong, but unfortunately we have to leave the bus stop and move on to number nine on our list. Could it be Chad Michaels giraffe inspired fit? <laughs> it could and quite literally is. Chad Michaels. Wow. How many giraffes had to die? <laughs> right. I'm giving you some giraffe realness, and I'm free to just stomp the runway. No strings attached. I love the peekaboos. The peekaboos are fabulous. Hello, they're saying hi. I felt like that comment was a little bit disrespectful. It's like no one's asking me how many tie-dye denim jeans had to die to make my outfits. <laughs> a lot. Moving on to number eight on my list, I had to bring it back to season four because Milan's look was... You'll see. Milan! Yes, I can. Janelle Monet. Or Bruno Mars on Red Bull. When I'm on the runway, I feel like I'm on the tightrope. And so I really wanted to embody that essence, and I wanted to have fun with that. I hope Louis Farrakhan don't see this. I love this look, but respectfully, I simply do not have the stamina to keep up. After narrowly escaping death, let's move on to number seven. Now, are you ready for this look? I don't think you are. Here it is anyway. It's Latrice Royale serving good God, girl, get a grip. Latrice Royale, Ebony Magazine. Fold out. Mm. Yes, honey, this is a two-page spread. <laughs> I walk out giving my glossy glam, very Nubian princess, lots of jewels and cleavage, and I feel gorgeous. She makes glamour look real simple. I love the jewels down the back. Mm -hmm. Yes, gorgeous. Like a character from The Wiz. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. It kind of pains me to say this, but... I'm like unironically obsessed with her. I know, I know, I said it on the internet of all places. I, Chester, am unironically obsessed with something. On to number six. Now, we couldn't have a season one through five drag race list without this dancing diva. It is the queen herself, Miss Alyssa Edwards. Alyssa Edwards. I want that outfit. I am channeling my little Miss Perfect gig. It's the deal, it's the ish. Madonna Reborn again. Yes. Now what the f is going on in here on this day? At number five, we have Alaska wearing a gown made of something you might find in a recycling bin. And no, it's not my IRS collection notices. <laughs> I haven't paid taxes in 15 years. The 49th state, Alaska. Oh. It's gorgeous. Is that a Birkin bag or a Glad bag? <laughs> so that dress is made of plastic, but I am treating it like the most expensive couture gown ever. And I just wiggle my way down the runway as best I can. She must have a really big dog. <laughs> Alaska. Oh dear, I can see Russia from here. Is that Sarah Palin in that dress? It's Saran Palin. <laughs> wow. Nothing gets them like a good Sarah Palin joke. <laughs> Next time someone calls me trash, I'm coming back with this look. <laughs> and by someone, I mean my mom. 
On to number four, we're putting that Vaseline covered lens right back on that camera and going back to season one. This is Chanel in her Medusa look. If you know, you know. Okay, bring it. That is Chanel Couture. I think visually, my appearance on the runway was unbelievably over the top and 110% of the total expression of who I am as an entertainer. Wow. Medusa. Look at that rack. She's gonna put somebody's eyes out with those things. <laughs> Anaconda, eat your heart out. Next up, we have another iconic look from the Garden of Adam Steve. It's Ivy Winters in this very Mariah Carey butterfly moment gig. Ivy Winters. Wow. Oh. Now that's what I call stilettos. Being a circus queen, I decided to pull out my stilts and I did a butterfly goddess look. Does anybody have a really big butterfly net? <laughs> More like Cirque du So Gay. <laughs> Cirque du so they, them. <laughs> Coming in at number two is one of my absolute fave looks of the entire show. This look is monotone, but it's anything but boring. Here's Detox. The totally addictive Detox. Most people don't know that the G in LGBT actually stands for grayscale. And at number one, on our definitive list of all of the looks of seasons one through five of RuPaul's Drag Race available now on Prime Video is Raja as Marie Antoinette wearing Vivian Westwood. Last but not least, Raja. Oh. Oh. It's fashion week. There's yes, it is. Oh, yes. I'm really, really inspired by things Rococo and Marie Antoinette, all things sort of French. Let them eat cake. Anna Winter will run that in the spring. Yeah, yeah. even yeah. Gautier, yeah. remember who did that? We've got our cover. For sure. Yeah. Marie Antoinette, more like Marie, step on my neck. That's it, that's number one. That It's over. Now, well, there you have it, the definitive, complete, and definitely not gonna miss anything list of the fiercest looks from RuPaul's Drag Race. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Did I miss any of your faves? Leave a comment down below, but be nice, cause I'm sensitive. And don't forget, you can watch seasons one through five of RuPaul's Drag Race right now on Prime Video, free with your Prime subscription. Isn't that crazy? Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to fly back to Wyoming to work on RuPaul's Ranch. Bye, besties.